another thing? Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock the man out, destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Great. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Finish listening to Doc's message. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Here's your stuff! There's a bomb in the truck. Gotta disable it. Oh good, the demon sent back up. I was starting to worry I might win this. Okay, I think I can finish listening to Doc's message. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. I heard that's that impressive person. I'm a 
about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. I love photography. Demons are getting bolder. Engaging police in the streets now. Officers, pull your wounded back! I'll handle this! Everyone okay? All units, narcotic sale reported in progress. Incident is active in Park City. Over. The item I have to move. I wasn't gonna find them. Hey guys! You got prescriptions for this stuff? Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. in the area. Need immediate response to Chelsea. Over. Oh, you started without me. Stop a mugging. Gotta stay strong. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Okay, let's 
Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 
2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry.